Nice. Cheers, and welcome to this very special Jackalobe edition of the Natural Rights Coalition tabletop discussion on the Voluntary Virtues Network. Today, my name is Steve, and I'm here with Mike, Matt, and Brian, just freshly back from the Jackalobe Freedom Festival. Uh, Matt, what am I drinking today? I'm not sure what you got in your glass. I know we have a Ballast Point variety pack that we didn't quite finish off because we had so much homebrew and liquor. <laughs> <laughs> and other forms of inebriation. Yeah, it was a great time. Very good time. Uh, I, I am currently drinking a Big Eye IPA from Ballast Point, which is good. Not as good as their Sculpin or their Habanero Sculpin. But it's or still their good. Fruit Sculpin. Or, or the Grapefruit Sculpin. Or other variations of Sculpins I've yet to try. It's still a, it's still a pretty, pretty decent IPA. I think that's the same thing I'm drinking. Bell's Point has a tendency to sneak up on me. Like, I always think, like, oh, it's not going to be that good. And then I was always like, oh, this is good. This is good. <laughs> like, God damn it, why is Sculpin so expensive? <laughs> then you drink it like, that's why. Ah. I remember now. What are you drinking, Mike? Same. Cool. So you're the odd man out then. Well, this is a result of Beggars Can't, can't Be Choosers. Um, I'm drinking a Pilsner, which is not my favorite style of beer. It's a Sudwork Brewing Company Pilsner. It's good, uh, but I'm no judge of Pilsners because I don't choose them unless that's what's left. <laughs> um, I respect that. Yeah. Honesty is always appreciated. So anyway, Jackalope. This is the first year, for I think, for all of us. We all had a great time. Uh, I'm still on that kind of... Anarchist high. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Even though all the other ones have worn off now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, how was your experience, Mike? Uh, from what I remember, Friday and Saturday <laughs> night are still a little bit on the hazy side. I'm piecing things together. I have little flashes of memory as to what happened on um, both those nights. But yeah, I, I had a blast. It was, um, you know, it was. Uh, at least 250 miles from any sign of civilization, really, at least from a major city. You know, there's a yeah. couple towns here and there, but, you know, middle of the national forest, and nobody bugged us, and that was was pretty cool, because we've had our issues in the past, like Libertopia, where the local authorities, whether it be hotel security or the cops, bug around for no reason, and, yeah, there's nobody out there. It was great. Yeah. Nobody yeah. to give us shit. And rabbit tacos. Rabbit mm. tacos. That's rabbit all I gotta tacos. say. Yeah, not rabbit. They weren't infected with rabies. They were rabbit <laughs> tacos. It was great. Leo made those, right? Um, Leo, Leo's wife, girlfriend, Leo. maybe? Leo. Um, I can't remember her name offhand. And I'm, I apologize because she was actually a really wonderful woman and we had a nice discussion and I can't remember her name now. So, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't remember a lot of people's names. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. but I had a really great time. I think we need to tell the story about how we got there, though. Yes. Oh, yes. We do. <laughs> so, driving down, the, dri- driving down the road, get up to the correct turn, and I'm like, do we need to turn here? Nah. Google, Google. says that it's a couple <laughs> miles down. <laughs> the Jesus brick said. <laughs> so, Google for brain sent me down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sent me down a couple more miles, and we, we turn off onto this dirt path and I'm like are you sure this is the right way that's what Google says Google says just keep going <laughs> I'm like all right so we're driving down a while and I'm like are you sure this is the right way so so that's like I'm gonna call Mike it's slightly <laughs> parallel to the road and not exact <laughs> Somehow, somehow sure. this all gets blamed on me, and I'm not really sure why to this day. Exactly how this gets blamed on me. But. So, Mike, uh, Matt, tell, tell the conversation with Mike. <laughs> Basically, I asked if the road was off road, and I don't think he got the severity of off road. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were getting. You, I, so, I, I heard dirt road is what I got. It like, was yeah, a, it's off a dirt road. Yeah, sure. It, it was easily mistakable because we did. Yeah, I. If, so yeah, it was a dirt road on the right one. But it wasn't a, a road made of giant rocks and, ri- <laughs> okay, and right. ruts. This so road it was I treacherous. See, yeah. I guess I you should use the word treacherous, dirt road. <laughs> <laughs> that Is it off a treacherous dirt road? I would have been like, hmm, 
don't remember that being treacherous. No, no. Do you have to knock down trees and plant more to get there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was the thing we were talking about. Was like, oh yeah, Google meant it for you to cut down the trees and keep going. You know, and you're like, oh yeah. So, so, I, so Matt gets off the phone with Mike. I'm like, so what Mike said? He said, oh yeah, that's totally the right road. Just keep on going. All right. I went for maybe another hundred yards, and the road just. Like turns yeah. into forest. And Google says there's totally a road there. <laughs> Google's Google's like, like, yeah, just continue for four more miles. Go, Google's like, no, totally, keep on going. It's just faster. Just we go. got out and looked around. <laughs> like, where like, is well, the road? Maybe we, maybe the road. We're not on the right road. Maybe the road's nearby or something. So we were like wandering through the forest. Some squirrel wanders down a tree and goes this way. <laughs> oh, okay. Keep Google Street told me to follow a squirrel. <laughs> this happened. I was in a different vehicle. In fact, I was driving Kevin's Super Duty truck, which to me felt like a bus to begin with. And we arrived at about 3 a.m. I don't know what time you did this, but we were... Yeah, it was at least light when we, we were We experienced the this. same thing, and multiple other groups said they did the same yeah. exact wrong directions thanks to Google. So heads up for next jackal. <laughs> Do not turn down the road that's five miles past... The lake road. <laughs> I think it's Forest Service Road 300 is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's 300. Do yeah. not go down Black Canyon Road. <laughs> Which is isn't even marked. There's no sign there, but Google will tell you that's definitely the way. <laughs> Don't listen to those bastards. I'm pretty sure the NSA and Google care. <laughs> you put these coordinates in, send them down this terrible road. I think that's what happened. Just to screw with us. We kept our sanity by telling jokes about how we were about to be axe murdered. <laughs> Because yeah. it resembled every horror movie we'd ever seen. Right, exactly. I was, I was like, we should have known not to give you this direction, but we did. <laughs> now, it would have been more of a horror movie if, say, like you got to a dead end in that road and there was just a log cabin with a single light on it. <laughs> hey, we should go ask those people. I'm sure they know how to get out of here. That's what I was expecting. Right? <laughs> so. There was, there was a bumper on the beginning of that road. We yeah. Should, that should have been a sign. <laughs> Turn the bumper right there. Probably on the wrong road. And in our truck, our, our low gas warning went on one mile oh, in. Oh, man. Oh, boop, boop, boop. So it was another mile and 20 minutes after that when we hit the dead end. <laughs> oh, man. Luckily, most of us understood the size of reserves and tanks and that we were okay. But, um, yeah, it was, it was scary, I guess. Now, how many vehicles did we... Came up to this like our caravan from San Diego. Was it four? Three. three. I think it was three. Just three. three. Okay, three. Because so then two out of three of us got a flat tire though, or at least yes. had some obstruction yeah. in the tire. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bolt in my tire. A <laughs> bolt. This big round. That was a huge bolt. <laughs> it didn't go flat though. But yeah, the tire didn't go flat. It, it was so big. I don't think it could have gone. Oh, flat. speaking of which, I want to thank Keith again for loaning me his pump to fill up my tire. If his name wasn't Keith, then thank you to the guy. <laughs> I came yeah. up with Keith. <laughs> Again, some names and faces are a little bit fuzzy at this I'm point. I'm pretty sure it was Keith, though. And, and you know, that just goes to really... Uh, it, it's another testament to what a great festival it is. Um, Alma came up and was saying goodbye to us on Monday morning. And we were talking a little bit, exchanging propaganda papers and stuff. <laughs> And and uh, she started talking about uh, my my tire, and she's like, I don't know if that's gonna make it to Payson. I'm like, Well, I don't have a choice. I don't have a pump or anything. And uh, you know, and you just get into that mindset because of where you are most the rest of the year that people don't help each other. And she's like, Yeah, I'm sure there's other people here in the forest. And uh, Keith happened to be there too and he's like oh yeah I think I got a pump and was able to help me out and it was just that was really great how everybody was cooperative and helping each other out um it, it's really what the free market I think is all about it um you know you get that propaganda from statists and socialists about how capitalism is dog eat dog and uh, exploitation of the workers and all that other stuff. But really, Jack and all that. Really, yeah. what it is is people cooperating together for mutual benefit. Yeah, exactly. and that's what we had this weekend, and it was awesome. Another good example of that too was that you know, um, well, specifically, specifically, um, Sunday morning was a wreck. <laughs> 
moseyed out of my tent Sunday morning, a little hungover, and I was just like, oh, I wonder what what the canopy looks like, and it's just wreckage, you know, just, just wreckage. It was just empty beer bottles and like graham crackers. I don't know what happened there. All the graham crackers all on the ground. And there was like, you know, some, some decent chocolate chocolate that was on the ground. I was really upset that it was on the ground because it was like some good chocolate. Dark I chocolate. think what it was was s'mores yes. for a butane, pro, uh, butane stove or propane stove. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it was raining and we didn't want to go set the, start the fire. We're like, let's just set up a propane <laughs> yeah, stove. Yeah. Get that going. And a rather extreme level of intoxication. <laughs> yeah, because it all made sense. Paired with that. Yeah. <laughs> so I wander out there and I start cleaning up and I realize like, wow, you know, we're all trying to be responsible campers here and pack out our trash and, and do something with it. And I'm starting to think, I was talking to John, I go, hey, is there a dumpster, you know, at the, like the front end of the road? Because it's a... Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, there's a, there's a dude, a uh, uh, guy's name, I think it was Dean, you know, for donations. He's like, I got a trailer, I'll take the trash. And yeah, I mean, hey, that Amazing. worked out. Amazing. You, yeah. can, you can take care of trash without government intrusion. <laughs> yeah, you know, oh, yeah, okay, I'll that, do that. I'll that, pull that away You can't for do you. that, Mike. <laughs> you can't? It, it, just, does, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> Yeah. A trash pickup service run by someone other than the government? What is this? Nah. <laughs> What's going to happen? Impossible. It's impossible. Government invented trash pickup. <laughs> and the roads. And the roads. And the roads. <laughs> what about the roads? <laughs> I paid that guy. I gave him some money. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. I felt like sort of for our group, I talked with him. I said, do you need, need gas money? And he said, only if you want to. And I said, well, I do. I said, but I got to go grab it out of my bag. And he said, okay, I'll wait. And then he did. Uh, in the meantime, we threw even more bags of trash into his truck. <laughs> I think I gave him five dollars, but mm-hmm. um, you know, it was all voluntary, completely. Yeah. And he indicated. I asked him. I said, "How are you doing?" He goes, "Is at least worth your time." And his indication was that he was probably making a little money doing it. Um, oh. But at the very least, not being put out by the time or gas um, that he was taken care of. It was nice to know. Yeah, and I think this thing's only going to get better as more people hear about it and. I plan on personally promoting it, you know, everywhere I can because it was just an amazing time. Yeah, yeah it is quite a drive for us, but I'm definitely willing to do it again. You know, it, yeah. it, I think that is that's a good point to make. Like, it, it's quite a drive, but it's within our sphere, I think, which is like, it, which is realistic for us. I mean, like, we're we're all most of us are all down in San Diego, if not all of us are down in San Diego, but. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's a, it's pushing on a drive, but I mean, it, it, it's worth it because, see, we had we had a good two three days, depending on how long you're there for. Where I didn't have a single thought about worrying about like the man, quote unquote, for lack of a better term, bugging me. I was just like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna you know do my yeah. thing, talk to people, do whatever I want to do, you know. No anxiety whatsoever. Yeah. about Somebody's gonna fuck with you. Yeah. It was it was really cool, and nobody. Nobody hurt anybody. Nobody stole anything. And on top of that... And, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, um, <laughs> go ahead, Mike. Herding cats. Herding cats, right? This is what we do. Is we're trying to... Um, there were eight dogs. There were about eight dogs that people brought with them. You know, one person had one dog, another person had two dogs. Right? I didn't even see a dog fight the whole weekend. You know what I mean? Like, I was really expecting, like, there are eight dogs, like, just wandering around, like, the camp. It was like the anarchist. I saw a dog argument, but it solved it. Yeah, 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 it solved itself. There was, there was no biting or anything. So that's good. That's good. But I was kind of worried about that because there's all these dogs running around. I was wondering, like, oh, shit, what happens if one of them decides to get fresh? But it didn't happen. That was the thing that was kind of, like... I'm like, what, did I just stumble into like Snow White or something? Like, all these dogs are even getting along. This is wild. But, and all the kids too. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, we we should mention it is family friendly. So if you've got kids and are worried about, you know, is this appropriate for me to go with my kids? Bring it up. You might want to stay away from our canopy. <laughs> <laughs> but there were a lot of children there, and they had a lot of children to play with as a result, and they collected together. And yeah, I think we were a little loud. But yeah, I think our group got a little bit of a reputation, but <laughs> it was a good one, I'd yep. say. Yeah. <laughs> the reputations, though, were a really good showing of how there was a lot of diversity there, but not the need for unanimous agreement on what the right way to be is. Um, I yeah. know there was a comment um, that a certain group uh, invited some of us um, to something religious in nature. Um, most of us, if not all of us, declined, but we didn't feel the need to tell them to stop doing that. It just it exists. That pocket exists. That lifestyle was free to exist. Um, we were the party area. 
but no, there was no conformity pressure for us to stop partying or for everyone else to party. There were these pockets of differences and you could gravitate to what you liked. Yeah. And that's the way I think we the did, free world is. I think we did wake somebody up once. We did, I, yeah. I think but, it was Joni. We're sorry, Joni. <laughs> sorry, Joni. <laughs> we do apologize. If it was the music, it was me. If it was yelling, it was somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> or could have just I, prov- I provided a stereo, and we did keep it going all night. So. And I am a loud laugher, so it could very well be me, too. So, to be fair. But, yeah, it was, uh, you yeah. know... It was a great time. I mean, there's a couple times where it rained during the middle of the night and we were all drinking pretty heavily, and somehow we managed to fit 15 people under a six by eight canopy. <laughs> like, that was the thing that pretty amazed me. I'm like, it is raining. And, you know, we, sent, we would fit a lot of people under there. Still have a good time. Yeah. I really like the, the midnight hikes, too. I remember oh, yeah. midnight. Saturday, <laughs> 3 a.m. <laughs> it was more <laughs> like 3 a.m., I think. I remember, I remember at one point I went on this hike only because I had no idea where I was and I didn't want to get lost. So I'm like, I'm just going to stick with everybody else and hopefully they'll get us back to the cabin. Nice. Uh, to, the, to the tents. Stick with the rest of the tribe. They will exactly. bring you home. Yes. Um, yeah. And everybody took care of everybody else. We all made sure that everybody had a good time. Yeah. A few people fell in ditches and well, but, few people. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we can lower we can lower that down to an individual. But we'll, 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 we'll leave the name out. We, yeah, we yeah. won't mention Raina. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it was uh, it was. Uh, she was all right though. Yeah, it, 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 it was it, right. it was a it was a mild four foot ravine <laughs> after it had rained, so the ground was pretty soft. If anything, it was it was. You know, fair to Midland when it comes to the comedy scale. Like we, we were all kind of like, Raina, there's a small cliff over there. You might not want to walk over there. And it was just, yeah, and you fell down. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you're good. And you're laughing, and that's important. <laughs> good times, good times. The, the Milky Way was beautiful out there. I think that was the night we were looking yeah. at the stars. The, the yeah. one... The one time where it wasn't over one over clearing that we had, where mm-hmm. we took the opportunity to go check the stars out. I wanted to take some pictures, but I'm glad I didn't bring my camera because I'm pretty sure I would have ruined it. <laughs> it would have ended up in that little ravine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. or in a puddle, or yeah, rained on something. I was wasted. I wouldn't have been able to. I yeah, they would have been all blurry. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad <laughs> I didn't take it. Where did this picture come from? <laughs> which is yeah, bringing a camera on a drunken escapade, you could have some funny pictures. Speaking of which, if anybody has pictures, I want to see them. I don't know if anybody I, actually took pictures. But we, we, have, we have a grand total of two of them, I think, or three of, yeah, of, of, of all picture. of us. Yeah, Which we took a group picture at the end. I meant to take pictures. My cell phone was pretty dead. I think everybody else was, too. So, sadly, I didn't get a lot of pictures. Hopefully, there are some up somewhere in the interwebs. I don't know. Browse through Facebook within a couple of days. I'm sure they'll, they'll pop up. Yeah. My Hopefully. brain remembers it. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's the memories, right? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, um, I, I mentioned rabbit tacos because I love rabbit. It's like fried chicken, but it's not fried chicken. <laughs> it's great. Uh, I don't understand that though. A rabbit is normally very lean, so yeah. it's fried chicken but made of bunnies. Yes, <laughs> it's fried chicken but made of bunnies. That's a, that's a great way to do. It. Which is, of course, a rabbit's defense mechanism. You know how every animal has their thing that says like, "Don't eat me because I'm poison" or, or "I don't taste good." You know, they got rabbits animal. are cute. Rabbits are cute. Yes, that is the thing that stops them from being eaten. So if you can get past the fact that rabbits are adorable, it's delicious. Yeah. I've talked about raising rabbits lately, and. Max brother is all like, oh no, I can't eat bunnies. And <laughs> they're too cute. I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'll become free an the eco, eco terrorist and free all, all your bunnies. And shit. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, what if they're ugly bunnies? He's like, well, then fuck them. Yeah. What's going to happen is if you start raising rabbits, I'm going to go over to your house and I'm going to be like, this is such an adorable rabbit, it's going to be so delicious. That's exactly what will come out of my mouth. I'll be paying the poor little bastard and be like, oh, you're so delicious. <laughs> Be drooling on the rabbit. <laughs> Just a little taste. Just a little marinade for it. Um, so the uh, the other uh, thing that was funny, I, I like to think about whenever I go to the, you know these different festivals or conventions. If you, convention specifically is usually a, a political thing, so that's a different story. But uh, you know, every time I go to to an event like that, I always kind of think of like the one instance that sticks out of my mind. And for uh, Jackalope this year, it was I was um, talking to Alma about something, and this is after um, 
they had slaughtered a pig. They were going to put a pig on a spit and roast it, and, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it was going to be delicious. And I kind of forgot. Yeah, it was delicious. It, I didn't have I didn't have any of it. I wanted to, but I got drunk and forgot about it. I guess apparently. <laughs> but uh, you and know, then I, I got high. And then I got high. And um, the the pig I had seen in the cage earlier, and I said, I'm not going to pet him. I'm not going to talk to him. I'm not going to name him. I'm not going anywhere near him. Just <laughs> acknowledge the fact that is the pig we're eating. Okay, there it is. So I'm talking to Alma later on, and then um, dude walks up. Was it Keith? I think who's who who's kind of knew how to do all that. Leo? No. Yeah, you know, it was Leo. Yeah, it was Leo. Yeah, it was Leo. So it was funny because I'm talking to Alma about something. Leo walks up with a bag, and, you know, a Ziploc, a big Ziploc bag containing what could only be described as a bloody mess. <laughs> and holds it at eye level with Alma, kind of like to her, like, her peripheral vision, so she couldn't really see it. And he goes, hey, Alma, she turns, looks at it, and goes, oh, gross, what's that? He goes, uh, it's not that bad. It's just like a fresh heart and like pig's liver. And she's like, okay, no, that's gross. And <laughs> he's like, no, I just need to know where to put it. Is there a cooler somewhere? I just need to keep it cold so we can, you know, cook it later. And she's like, I don't know, but there's one around here somewhere. And it's just kind of what, that made me laugh so hard because of that situation. You're never going to see that anywhere else, that conversation of like, what's that? Uh, that's, oh, it's just a fresh pig's heart and liver. Don't worry about it. You know, I don't know. Where Maybe laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to say a special thank you to Alma, though. Of course, yeah. For all the work she did. Eight um, months pregnant, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And constantly moving the whole weekend. Which which, which surprised me. I always assumed that, you know, uh, to try to put myself in somebody else's shoes, if that's completely possible. If I were to be eight months pregnant, I wouldn't be moving around that much. I've been like, my feet are swollen and I'm sitting down. But yeah, she was, you know, she really, yeah. yes. You know, uh, stood up and took care of the whole thing, yeah. So, great job, Alma. And Brian, and Leo, and Keith, and... And everybody Dean, there. And, yeah, everybody we kind of made a whole community we out of it. We were all in really charge. Great. Yeah, <laughs> and we were, exactly. none of us were in charge. All of us and none of us. Yep. Yeah, we Cheers. were in charge of ourselves, I'd say. Exactly. And I think we all did a damn good job. No, I, I don't remember any incidents of any... I didn't even see an argument there that about over really anything. No. Yeah, I don't think even anybody even bothered to throw a pine cone at anybody. That was kind of <laughs> and I was thinking, like, Oh man, I knew I forgot something. Something, just tuck a pine cone at a random stranger and see if they do. Uh, no, were... but yeah, people would be walking around just just to say hi, hanging out. People don't even know each other, helping each other out and joking around like they're old friends. It was great. There was a. Uh... What was it, the uh, wild herd of cattle that was smart <laughs> That was smart enough not to sit in the middle of the road when you were driving your car? No, we had one sitting in the middle did of the you? road. Did you? And he didn't yeah. move? Yeah, no, okay. He no, he moved. moved. Yeah. He moved. We got pretty lucky about it because they walked across the road, stopped for a little bit, noticed that the car was still moving. He's like, oh, yeah, I should probably get out of the way and moved. My experience with cows, they're like, no. No, I'm <laughs> right? a cow, and I'm moving. I'm moving. But, um, so... We had two flat tires. We got both of them fixed and somehow got out of there okay. Um, I'm surprised the ice lasted all weekend. I know. <laughs> that was cool. Surprised. We didn't 80, have to go up for ice. 80 pounds of ice. That's what we needed. <laughs> Note that for next year. <laughs> and two blocks of ice. Two, two blocks. blocks. I think that was part of it. And that's what kept it going the whole weekend. That's a, that was a great idea. Good job, Matt. Thank you. And, <laughs> and, it, should be, and it should be mentioned that you know, we, we all live in San Diego or, or, or San Diego County, and it was, the temperature was more um, mild and suitable for human habitation than it has been in San Diego <laughs> for the past six months. You know, it was, I don't think it crested above 82 degrees and there were sporadic showers, so if it maybe got a little bit warm, oh no, it rained for 20 mm-hmm. minutes and cleared up again and it was Oddly great. Oddly enough, it rained in Escondido while we were gone. I yeah. heard about that. Yeah, I got <laughs> back and I'm like, it rained too? Well, we guess we brought the rain with us, so. So either way, we would have been rained on. <laughs> so we might as well have been with great people who don't want to aggress against anyone. And um, me and Steve were uh, lucky enough to get on a um, panel about marketing anarchy with, uh, you know, some, some people, uh, you know, a couple dudes I got, I got a lot of respect for. I mean, Ernie Hancock has been doing a radio show for, uh, I'm sure somebody else. Who knows decided, how long. Yeah, I was going to say God knows how long, but I'm sure other people besides God know how long. And, but <laughs> it's been, you know, good, and I want to say he's been doing it for about a decade or so. And um, Michael Shanklin, who, you know, is a 
really good activist went on, on the internet. I'm sure he's done things outside of the internet too. But uh, you know, I mean, he, he's doing a lot of hard work too. And then uh, Roger Kroger. He's got so much going on. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously he's hosting this uh, video as we speak. So uh, the Voluntary Virtues Network. And uh, yeah, that, that was a good time. Uh, doing... And White Cloud Security, have you heard of that? Uh, no, 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 no. That, so you need to look into that. Dollar. Yeah, it's a, it's a new, uh, it's, it's kind of like an antivirus from what I understand, but it's different in that. White thing, right? Is yeah, that... exactly. It, it, uh, there's, there's a lot more, uh, personalization with it and it stops things before they become problems. You don't have to have this huge database of, of uh, Trojans and other viruses anymore because you're stopping things with, it, it's, it's all... Uh, is it an IP like, whitelisting bit? Or is it's it, all... Um, is it allowing? Yeah. You're only allowing. So right. That makes sense. I think but uh, explain it <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, but look into it though. It's yes, a, it's a. It, it looks like a great plan. I don't think it's officially out yet. I think they're in beta testing or something. But I'm I'm really excited about that project. Well, I'm assuming they're they're going to do a better beta testing than Microsoft does with most of their games, <laughs> right? So you know, hey, here's our brand new Microsoft video game. You're the beta tester. You just paid fifty bucks to be a beta tester. Good job, suckers. Right? Um, but. Um, yeah, it was, uh, uh, you know, what else, what else could I think about what happened there? I mean, there was, uh, I mean, I thought this was pretty cool because this was something pretty unique. There was uh, uh, this woman, Alana and her, her husband, or, or rather non-husband, because who needs Ananda? paperwork to get married? Exactly. And uh, Alex, right? Ananda. Ananda. I'm Ananda. saying Alana, but Ananda. Uh, I remembered that name. Yeah, she she was she was selling different sort of like herbal salves and like you know she was telling me about it. And yeah, that's, that was I meant really to cool. ask her about how her wild uh, foraging went. Yeah, yeah. I was um, yeah, I was planning to do that in the morning, and at one point or another, I think I'd fallen asleep or I was distracted doing something. I felt really bad about it because I heard about it that she'd left later, and I just thought that'd be cool, like see what all the herbs are going on out there. But uh, I did pick up a. They were still there on Monday. Were they? Oh, yeah. I don't know. They. Um, Picked up, I picked up a little jar of, um, of uh, it's called uh, thieves oil, and this is an oh yeah, that's a cool yeah in, interesting little antidote I guess is um, so think back to like you know plague ridden Europe you know and you and you're in a gang of thieves and pretty much all your you and your other poor bastards know what to do is to steal money from people. Well, obviously, if you're stealing money who from money, money from somebody who's a plague victim, you're gonna die too. And um, but plague victims were easy marks. Yeah, exactly, because so. they're not moving too fast. They're right on the on, on the door out. And uh, but this one gang of thieves, I guess, had come up with a certain combination of, of, of herbs and stuff that they would that they would rub all over their their face and arms and stuff. And they found out that they could rob these plague victims and not get sick. And with a story like that, I was sold. I'm like, all right, <laughs> stops bubonic plague, taking that. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if that ever to break out again, I think I'm prepared. <laughs> In that very, very rare um, uh, chance to stop the zombie virus. That's the important <laughs> part. I mean, there's an Ebola outbreak. That's close enough, right? So far, not coming to, the, to this, this this section of the of the globe. But, uh, yeah, um, with the thing that I was really amazed about of uh, all the drunken conversations we had the entire weekend was I don't think we ever talked about robot sex. Ah, oh, man. You know? That's right. We may have touched on it. D I don't remember. Did we at all? Uh, like, I'm pretty sure somebody said robot sex sometime this weekend. <laughs> if, uh, if I'm we didn't, confident that would, in that. If we didn't, that would be really out of character for us. Right. <laughs> And once again, we have missed robot sex for the podcast. Next week we'll Sing talk about robot audience. sex. We Next keep week. forgetting. I don't know what we were thinking, but once again, mm. we'll also get back to the. Jack Loop. We'll also get back to the. The list. The list. The list. Yeah. 
I think it was the natural environment because there was plenty of sex talk, just not robot yes. sex. I think it was, That's you know, true. out in the wilderness, we were thinking in non-robotic terms. Yeah, perhaps if we were doing this in, like, abandoned more Detroit, natural, you know, maybe, yes, yeah. yeah, robot sex might have come up, yeah. With more electronics around, we're more likely to talk about robots. <laughs> what happens if my Jesus brick becomes sentient? <laughs> <laughs> then you have to fuck it. Oh. Anyway, on that note, no. <laughs> cheers. Go to go to Jackalope next year. Jackalope you will not be dot com, right? Is that was it dot com or dot org? Look Jackalope it up on Festival. Google. There you Jackalope Google. Freedom Festival. Be there next year. It's a Great good time. time. And you'll get to meet us. Yes. Cheers. Cheers.